Hey guys, Charmed Wench here and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know I look slightly different, uh, but I have filmed a, a look previously with what I'm going to talk about, but that's a separate video so we won't go into that. Um, today, I am going to talk about a palette that I recently got. I've already said this in the last video, but I lost a lot of footage uh, because my laptop broke, so I pre-filmed a lot of videos and I've kind of lost them so I have to redo them so I've already done this once uh, and now I'm doing it again so we are talking about the new palette I got it is the Vampira palette from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs you guys know I don't know if you know you may do you may not I absolutely love Lunatic Labs makeup I just love it I love the packaging I love the colors I, do, I just love everything that they've done so far the only thing I haven't got which I said I probably say in another video you guys will hear me repeat myself is the contour palettes I don't own those I would love to own those but at the minute they're out of my price range with wedding and things like that to plan um, so but but I had to get this because I've already got the Elvira palette and this one's the Vampira one so I needed to get right so this is the Vampira palette and this is based on the icon that was Myla Nurmi I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong but um that is the actress that played um Vampira herself it was a 1950s um tv show in America so I don't know anything about it really other than she looked amazing so if you guys I will link below uh, the intro to her tv show because it's just freaking awesome and you can go and check it out she looks stunning like she has literal body life goals soul goals she's she looks stunning so that is what this palace is based on which is that lovely lady and it says graveyard glamour on the outer packaging and then on the back it has all the shades that are in this palette and obviously a picture of the icon again herself from what I can tell from reading um, she was actually discovered uh, at a Hollywood um, fancy dress party as we call it or a ball of some sort in America uh, and she dressed I think it was like a morticiary Adams type looking dress and she was just discovered via that from what I can tell I don't know too much but I will link her Wikipedia below so you guys can go and find out more about this amazing icon so this is what the palette looks like I mean Lunatic literally kill it when it comes to their palettes that the way they're designed they look completely different and that's what I love about them and this is just everything that I would love in packaging um, like the coffins I have a few of them already I think I only have one left to get and then I've got them all which I will I will get it eventually I will and I'll have them all because I'm just I just love this company so anyway without me going off so I'm going to show you what they look it looks like in on the inside and it has I'll try not to blind you guys I'll hold it down but there's a little coffin mirror inside with a picture of Vampira here and a little bat here as well which is a mirror as well so hopefully that's not going to blind you and then obviously the amazing packaging inside now with the Vampira Vampira with the Elvira one there was a blush in it this one doesn't have a blush but it still has this beautiful beautiful packaging and these are all magnetic these do pop out you can take them out and put them somewhere else but why would you want to because this is utterly stunning uh, and this is all the shades that you get and I absolutely love it it's not shades that I generally reach for but they are stunning and they work beautifully like all Lunatic Labs uh, eyeshadows do um, I have done swatches I'm going to attempt to show you guys them now uh, but they are all on my arm um, I'm going to show you them but I have filmed a little bit of extra footage so that it might be a bit shaky because I've done it by hand but um, I filmed a little bit of extra footage of the swatches so that you guys can see them a little bit better if I can't show them on camera properly so I'm just I'm just going to sort of stand up and hold them up to you guys and hopefully my camera picks it up and I don't have to show you the extra footage but if not you guys can see all the shades there so that's what they look like so one of my favorites is this one which is velvet moon it is beautiful and it works amazing as a highlighter I have it on at the minute I love it as you could see it's super pigmented you can probably see it from there they look amazing so I'm gonna lean out for now and I'll try 
and show you the shade so obviously this is velvet moon here this beautiful silver shade it's like a metallic silver it is untarnished then you have astro vamp which is like an iridescent purple shade then you have necromancer which is like a bronzy blacky i don't even know how to pronounce it pronounce it explain it but it's just a stunning bronzy brownie really deep look the uh, metallic eyeshadow and then you have nephorus which is a beautiful black but it has like um tiny little uh, fragments of like um like green glitter in it i don't think my camera would pick it up but it it is beautiful i don't know i'll show you guys a little bit closer so you can see all the shades real close like that and hopefully my camera is focusing on the stunningness that it is and that's what it looks like it's amazing i love it and i will every time they release a new palette if i can get it i will get it um i love it most of my other palettes don't have these cartons with them um i i think it's because i brought them in the uk uh, they are stocked on Beauty Bay, you can buy them, I will link that below. Um, there are also other UK stockists that I will list below as well. Uh, so if anybody wants to get it for themselves, but Beauty Bay seems like the place that everybody seems to get them. A few of mine I didn't get from Beauty Bay, so Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay, so I will link where I got those from. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's it's a gorgeous palette and just a dream to have in my collection, like all of my palettes. I love it. But I also did pick up two lick slips. Now, if you don't know, that's what um, the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Um, lipsticks are called they don't dry down matte as far as i'm aware because i've got one on now it isn't kiss proof as you can see i've had this on for a little while um but they are really really nice they feel like they've got like a mentholy feel to them when you put them on your lips they're just really nice to wear so i got two shades i do already have one that's called coven cream um i haven't got that up here with me because it, it's one that i've had it was what the, the first one i ever brought um, and I loved the colour, it went with one of the other palettes really really well um, that is a video that I did way back I can link that as well um, in the description bar if anybody wants to check out that uh, palette review that I did or makeup look I think it was um, but this is the first shade that I brought and this is Succubus which is what I currently have on that's what that looks like and the, I just love, look at, I mean even the packaging look, look I mean come on the packaging of this is just amazing so you've got your lunatic cosmetic lab sign there and it does say made with love on it on one of them it says made with love there and it has a cute little bat on the end of each side of the carton i love it i just love it so i will swatch these two colors for you guys now uh so that you can see i have also have sorry i have london bridge as well which is a stunning purple shade that is what that looks like you may have seen this in a previous video uh, but now you're seeing it in a swatch so i'm going to do a nice big swatch and you can see oh, the big man is unreal and smell they smell so they smell mentally as well i'm not i'm not sure what it is that's in it that gives it this the, the scent but it smells really really nice so that is what they look like obviously the purple being london bridge and the pink one being succubus i'd kind of love to know why they, they thought of london bridge with that shade i'd love to get inside the minds of lunatic cosmetic labs and find out why they've named it that but succubus i can completely understand that color if you don't know what a succubus is i will link that in the description bar just in case you wanted to find out what a succubus is um but yeah i i love them they're beautiful and it's just the packaging it's i love their logo the logo is just see if you can pick it up camera i just love it this is what i would love everything to be written in this font <laughs> i love it if i could have a charmed wench sign in lunatic cosmetic labs uh like logo Ital italic logo um what am i thinking of text text I would love that to have a cyber charmed wench made out of that that text that'd be awesome but yeah i absolutely love lunatic cosmetic labs i'm a proper collector when it comes to them i have like i said pretty much all of their eyeshadow palettes bar one which i really really need um 
and it's a really nice bright one I forget what it's called I'm gonna google it now while we're here uh, the one I need is why did I not why <laughs> the one that I couldn't remember the name of is a zombie defense this is the one that I need I will show you guys it so you can see it that hopefully with my fingers all over this phone finger marks that is the one that I need just to, to finish all the eyeshadow palettes set, the whole so I've got all of them aren't the colors beautiful the colors are stunning um, that's the one that's the the only palette i think that's got really bright shades in it all the others are sort of like darker ones um i think i mentioned in my next video um if you would like to see everything that i've got from lunatic cosmetic labs then let me know in the comments below and i will film a separate video of that so that you guys can see what i've got so far um but yeah that is it for this little review i love this company i love the pigment in this i love the packaging i can't say anything else than i love this brand so yeah if you haven't got this in your life you need it and you should go and check it out but i'll be linking that everything in the description bar below so you guys can go and check it out but that's it for this video guys if you did enjoy this little review and swatches give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and you will see what else there is to come but other than that guys i'll see you in the next one bye